stay on brand. Hey, that's, the, that's your deck name? Arn, Arn Litor K. Lavarge? Yeah, I, I can't even say it myself. <laughs> the fifth? What? Yeah, Arm Litor K. Lavarge the fifth? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, Brobnar Logo Shadows. I, I was kind of hoping Lyle would get a Logos deck. Um, I'm just going to move yours over here so we can see him on air. A little better. This is playing Shadows. Shocker. Um, I was hoping you'd get a Logos deck because... Uh, you know, we're practicing these decks we own, guys, a lot of the times. And when we're off air, we're practicing. And I, we can't, I mean, dude, after our last practices, I can't recommend more to people uh, to play with your friends or play with people you want before an OP event. Play the deck you're interested in and challenge it with friends that have lots of decks, you know, like we've been doing. Um, it helped a lot. Yeah, I went through I went through four or five different decks playing against Chris and his deck, and I finally found one that, that beat him. Yeah, and it's cool. It, it helps you learn your deck. So this is game one, dude. I, I'm going first. I rolled the highest, so I'll go first. Yep. Um, yeah, it really challenges your decks, really kind of helps you find some of the combos, uh, play your deck wrong, maybe do some interesting things about different uh, matchups. Um, so I was interested in this deck uh, for various reasons. I was hoping you'd play Logos because I wanted to be able to try to purge out some of the stuff and that kind of thing. But every game's going to be different, man. You never yeah. know who you're going to get I'm going to mulligan this. Chris is playing Shadows. Shocker. I <laughs> don't Shadows has it's just so strong. I felt Lyle and I did try it. I think I did or you did. Where it's like I'm not gonna play Shadows. I'm gonna try to counter your Shadows, and it was just like, yeah, it's like so hard. It's so hard. And uh, but one of the best counters, guys, is either Shadows to counter Shadows or Sanctum has actually been a big Shadows counter. I've seen people saying Sanctum, Sanctum yeah. is hard for Shadows to deal with. Um, I'm All first. Right, you're right? up. All right. I am first, and I am uh. Whew. I am worn out. Um, I don't know if I want a mulligan. Um, uh, uh, oh, I forgot what this deck is really, really like, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this hand. Okay. I'm gonna keep this hand. Do I'm gonna thing, start. Man. Do your thing. I'm gonna start with Doc McStuffins, dude. Doc McStuffins. Yeah, Doc McStuffins. Uh huh. Yeah, so I hope. Uh, I mean, it's, it's fun to hear about Sean. Anyone else been going to Chainbound events or plan to go this weekend? I will be at one Friday. Let us know what you're thinking of doing. What, what strats you have? This is really loud. Uh, I'm going to play. Wow! Thank you so much for the awesome support at the beginning of the game, guy. I can't believe it took us an hour to get through all that support. That was awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to us. I'm going to play Bromnar. I'm going to bring out Ganger Chieftain. Okay. Ready to fight with a neighboring creature. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. I will play Bromnar. I'll play Smash. Stun you here. I'll play Smash. Stun you here. Yep. <laughs> and over to you, dude. Yep. And according to Arata, you can choose a target that's already stunned to do the stun again but they, they still only get the one yeah stun. you can't double stun no, no double stun no double stun i hate to play against shadows and normally generate amber as fast as possible and that's just a no-no against shadows exactly exactly all right i'm going to do but jonesy one thing to like with bait and switch it's like i'm gonna do sanctum uh, I'm going to stun your smash over here. Ooh. I'm bring out Hallowed Blaster. Uh, and then I'm going to play Shield of Justice for the Ambler. Okay. Yeah, one thing that we found with Shadows and just playing is if you can, if you think they have bait and switch, and if you don't know, because a lot of times if you're playing Archon and OP events, it helps just to kind of look through their list and see if they have a bait and switch, something jumps out to you. One of the big counters for bait and switch, I think Lyle and I were finding, is if you can, if if you can just generate a lot, <laughs> like, and you're ahead, just get a, either get try to mitigate your amber or get a lot of amber, and then shadows is kind of like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. So the yeah, the deck the deck that I was playing against Chris that I, I did best with, like, I had that logos craziness, but I also had shadows and I had bait and switch and I had two miasmas. So, um, I would like I would just generate all the amber I wanted. Then he would bait and switch. I would miasma him, but I'd still be able to forge myself because I would have so much amber. Okay. Um, Kung Fu Hippie went two and two at a chain bound uh, event. 
wrecked Mars Shadows decks, but Brobnar wiped me out. He has a deck with three Oubliettes. Oh, three. Is, I love my two Oubliettes. Which is deck. pretty dirty. I was actually thinking of bringing my double Oubliette deck to counter <clears throat> this, because I know this guy's going to be there Friday with hit that Time Traveler deck we showed at the beginning of the game, or beginning of the show. He's going to be there, and I'm going to be prepared, Lyle. <laughs> I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to wipe the crap out of that Time Traveler. Um, okay, which is also interesting to what you were saying. The, the meta changes is that now that I'm going to the same store again, he, he's wanting to bring that deck again. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. if you know someone's bringing that same deck and the way you can counter them, I'm, I'm ready this time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm ready, dude. I'm gonna be like, oh, I know what you're doing. Um, okay, I'm gonna go Shadows. Uh, I'm gonna play Ghostly Hand. If you have one, steal it. Wow. And then get two for Ghostly Hand. Wow, that actually, you actually got Ghostly it. Ghostly Hand value, dude. <laughs> I know, I actually got it, right? Um, I will then play out a Silvertooth, who's ready play out Silvertooth, who's ready. Um, and then I will reap, reap. Jeez. Um, and I will check. I will check to you. I mean, I won't check. I will just... Uh, no, you know, you, dude, you only get five. Get I'll, out of here. I'll pass to you. <laughs> hey, get out of here with your checks, dude. I'm just checking you out, dude. Um, Checking you out. All right, I'm going to play Brobnar. I'm going to play Earthshaker, so get rid of your Silver Tooths, oh. and I'm going to undo this stun. Savage, dude. It's a very slow deck I'm playing. Well, you're still learning it. First play, first yeah. blind play, kind of. PS4 right, says I went 3-0 in my chain down. Yeah, here we go. That's we, it. That's it for me. That's it. Uh, with, a, with a library access, two wild wormholes, and two mimicry. Oh, yeah. Let me... Or mimic... I forgot what Mim Mimicry does again. Oh, uh, Mimicry is great. Treat uh, as a copy of an action card in your opponent's discard pile. Oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. true. Oh, dude, you're mean, dude. If you Were you so, against another um, Logos? Yeah, so somebody um, was telling me what's great is... Okay, um, I'm going to go Logos, dude. Right? Using Mimicry uh, on, on an opponent's library access. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, was yeah. he against another Logos? Because if you play that out, and then the next turn you play another Mimicry on that same yeah. library access, <laughs> what or, a Or jerk. Mim Mimicry Key Charge, uh, oh, if your opponent's yeah. playing Key Charge. Yeah, dude. All right, I'm going to go Logos, man. I'm going to play out my Archivist. Yeah. Um, I'm going to discard Effervescent Principle, which you lose half okay. your Amber and grounding down. Um, I'm then going to play Rocket Boots on Doc Bookton. That's cool. I'll then Reap with Doc Bookton to draw a card um and then because i have rocket boots on her uh you can ready it back up right yep because the first time i was used and then i will reap again with doc booked in yeah draw a card so you are at one two three four five six seven yeah what did you you had something in there i'm recalling now because we got to go over your deck what was it all right, so I'm going to... Oh, I'm not to... done yet, dude. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Oh. Um, I should have done this then. Uh, uh, PS4 says Mimicry Bait and Switch is always fun. Oh, God. <laughs> That's awesome. Huh? I love that kind of card. Okay, I'm going to yeah. play out Psychic Bug. Let me see your hand. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Look at your... Get out of here. What was it? Ah, yes. This garbage card. Oh, <laughs> crap. I knew you would have this, dude. What yeah. a jerk face. Okay, I mean, play Sanctum then, dude. And then, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, check to you. All right, bye bye, Amber. You, hold on, hold on. What a butt, dude. What a freaking butt. What a butt right now. Dude, Mimicry Creature. Dude, Mimicry sounds awesome, dude. Mimicry, yeah, the bait and switch. Key charge would be awesome. Or Hosri would be annoying, too. Can you use any, would it say, your opponent's copy of an action card? I thought Hosri was a creature. Yeah. So you can't use Hosri, right, with Mimicry? Hosri is a three-power creature, I believe. And you can look up, right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do Sanctum. I'm going to action Maxina. Yeah, it's a power. Bring her back to my hand. I'm going to bring her out. I'm going to stun Doc Bookton. Doc makes Doc stunned. Yep. Doc play stunned. Doorstep to Heaven. So I lose all but five? Yeah. And you gain one. And I gain one. Savage doorstop to heaven. Dude, no or, no doorstop. No, door doorstep. That's it, dude. That's it. Brutal, no doorstep. Well, now I know that's gone. <laughs> <laughs>
Now your garbage is gone. Um, okay. Well, what do I want to do? Um, what does this bug do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play Brobnar. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Man, Lady Maxina with the two armor. Um, yep. PS4 says, I take this tabletop similar. It looks a lot. Yes, it is. We prefer tabletop sim because it's more like the physical game. We can show you guys the cards a lot better, and it plays in a way that doesn't bug out, that you can go yep. back and change things. We can discuss things. Crucible is just so locked into its thing. We just haven't had good experiences with it totally. So, yes, this is PS4. But nothing wrong with Crucible. It works great, better for finding random matches when you don't have a friend ready to play. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, there's a bot in channel called our Archon Matrix made by Sky Jedi, one of our awesome uh, campers here. Uh, you can uh, use his mod uh, or his bot to look up cards, look up decks, uh, all that kind of stuff in chat. All that good stuff. Is there a command, Sky Jedi, to see what all the, the Archon Matrix commands are? Is it like... It might be exclamation point help, maybe? Is or... it? I'm sure he wrote something. Yeah. Help. Okay, yeah, there you go. And it's also in different languages, too. So if you're in EU, it's in the <clears> Daystream. <throat> there you go. Okay, I'm going to play Brobnar. I'm going to play Tremor on Ganger Chieftain. So stun a creature in each of its neighbors. Um, I will clear this stun. Um, yes, and, we, and we, we are using this mod, the Ultimate Keyforge mod. Uh, we've adjusted it a little bit with key uh, different infinity bags. We've added the little miniature uh, cards here, stuff like that. So it won't look exactly the same we're playing it, but it's still, you can adjust it the same way you choose. That's the nice thing about um, Tabletop Sim. Uh, I will reap. Mm -hmm. I will play Fire Spitter here. I will then... Hmm. I'm actually just going to play Ganger Chieftain over here, and I'm not going to ready and fight with him, because it's you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Oh, okay. And I will check at six. Okay. Check at six. Check at six. I'm going to play Mars to play out this think drone yeah man then i'm gonna play squawker for amber and ready him um then i'm gonna play mothership support for an amber for each ready mars creature deal two damage to something i'm gonna choose uh psychic bug squished my bug dude yeah i'm gonna bring out the old custom virus oh for an amber new card and then does? i'm gonna play um, jammer pack on Earthshaker. It's another amber. So your keys cost eight. Yep, yep, yep. He's a big dude with my keys costing. Oh, I didn't draw. Yep. So there's that. Uh, and then this guy's ready. I have. Friendly That's creature. you may, so you can reap in for one, but you don't have to archive a friendly creature or artifact. You can, but you don't have to. Right. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to reap so I can check. Um, and then... And then? And then? And then? Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to archive Lady Maxina. Okay. Uh, Lady Maxina archived. Okay. All right. I forge. It's eight. <laughs> I don't yeah. forge. You, I would you don't forge, forge because at it costs eight. Yes. Eight. Okay, man. Okay, man. You want to do this, huh? You want to do this this way, huh? You want to do this? You want to play some stupid games, huh? I want to play some games. Um, let's see. Hmm. How do I want to deal with your butt, dude? How do I deal with your How butt? How do you deal with the butt? How do you deal with your butt? Um, um, you're 
you're just a stupid butt, aren't you? You're just a stupid <laughs> butt. Okay, I'm going to go... Ah, what a butt. Do I do that? Am I a butt? I I think you are a butt. You're always a butt. I always try to be the biggest butt I can be. I always want to be the biggest butt I can always be. Always trying to be a butt, dude. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do shadows. I'm going to play out Nerve Blast to steal one. And put me at seven. I'm then going to do two damage to your Earthshaker. Um, I'll play out Nexus. Excellent. Woo! Welcome to the best camp on Twitch PS4 Overwatch series. Yo, what up? Thank we tried you. Overwatch once. Yeah, we yeah we played Overwatch once. <laughs> it didn't go well. It was well. really bad. It was really really bad for us. Yeah. Um, and then I think I really I... enjoy playing Reinhardt though, but I liked it too much because I was just charging into battle and just dying. What right are you away. gonna do? <clears throat> I think I'm going to. I'm going to play Ghostly Hand for the Amber. Okay. And then I'm done. Check at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Check to you. So, Nine's so a check nine because percent. of Jammer Pack. I have to have at least eight. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you're saying it's nine. So I'm okay. saying it's nine. I'm saying it's okay. nine, my man. Nexus is a fave for sure. This guy in my other deck at the Chainbound event, uh, he always gets dealt with by people because I just start using all their crap, which is great. The one game I won was because Nexus let me pop his uh, his uh, pop, disc, pop. make his keys cost nine, <laughs> which was great. Forget the name of the card now. Oh, Lash, his Lash. The Lash. The Lash. I think I'm going to play Mars. Yeah, I'm gonna play Mars. Yeah, Mars. Okay. Ooh, aliens. Gonna. Wow. Yeah, don't forget the giveaway is going on, guys. Exclamation point giveaway. Use those crits to win a custom crit camp playmat of your choosing. It's gonna be sick. What do I do here, man? I can't what am I? What, awesome. do, what am I even doing? What here? are you gonna do, man? You're gonna uh, play some cards, maybe? I am gonna play some cards. Just relax for a second, all right? Just relax. I'll relax. Oh, dude, by the way, these Chow Bound events, man, what I, love about this F what I like about this FLGS is they keep it to 35 minutes. They're on it, dude. So everyone's flying through their cards. It's freaking way fast. And we're slow, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. So you got to start picking it up, dude. People want speed, man. People want the oh, speed. Dude, speed. People want speed, man. I know. It's hard, dude. It's hard. Okay, so L5 I'm going to play Mars. 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 Um, the Mars. I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring out Zorg. He comes into play stunned. Yeah. So he's like cool. Yeah, he's cool. Um, <clears throat> then I'm gonna play out a little uh, Tonk action. Tonk as well. Tonk. Um, then I'm gonna play a card called Hypnotic Command. So uh -huh. for each friendly Mars creature, choose an enemy creature to capture one from their own side. So I have three. Right. So. Uh, Doc Bookton's gonna grab one, and and Archivist is gonna grab one, uh, and uh, Nexus is gonna grab one, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you could put them all on the same guy if you wanted to. Oh, I can. Yep. For each friendly Mars creature, choose an enemy creature and capture one from the other side. Not a different enemy creature. You could. Oh. If you okay. want, you can do it your way too. All right. Well, I'll put uh... Uh, next week, Reld. We usually give it, so it'll probably be next Thursday. Right. All right. We give it a week I mean, so everyone has a chance to, to like come over to the channel. But we just recommend the only thing you got to do is have crits and you got to at least be following the Twitch channel. Yeah. But you want to win it now? All right. Then I'm going to sacrifice the crits, in, get the crits in. Here we go. I'm going to sacrifice custom virus. All right. You're going to purge a human? I'm going to purge a I'm going to purge a human. You're going to purge Sergeant Zachiel? Yeah, dude. Whoa, rip, dude. I know. And then that gets rid of Doc Bookton and Ganymede Archivist. Oh, these go to you. And then I get that Amber. Love. Oh. Okay, dude. You just dis Yo, what up, Me Too? Yo, Me Too. Thank you for the 22 Yo, months. Yeah, what's up? Okay, they're wrecked, dude. Wow. Don't get wrecked. Oh, I forged, dude. You didn't. You had five at the beginning of this turn. I had five? Because I stole one at the beginning of last turn. Oh, you stole one. You yeah. stole one. So, no. So, check. Um... And then, and wow, then, dude. And then I'm gonna rip. 
Rip Sergeant All right, Zach. And then I'm going to play Phosphorus Star. So I'm going to stun each non Mars creature. Wow. And gain so let's two stun chains. your entire board. Gain two chains is. Yep. Gain, that's right. Gain two chains. DJ two chains. Become DJ two chains. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, reap with this homeboy. Archive a card. Yeah, I'm going to archive a clard. Uh, I think I'm going to archive Ganger Chieftain. All right, dude. Wow. This deck is a little crazy, dude. Whoa. It's a lot of combos that I have. I have to get my wrapper wrap my head around here. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to go down to one chain, draw up to five. You're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're at nine. I am at nine. You're at nine. All right, my dude. You're at nine. Yeah, you can't forge because Jammer Pack's still out. Uh, okay. Um, I am coming around on Mars a little bit. Um, yeah, Mars I don't hate cool. him as much as I as I used to, but yeah. Aaron Aaron's I asking, still, I, but I but I'm, I kind of wish I had more untamed decks. I only have two decks that have untamed, and I kind of want to play more untamed. Yeah, but I only have a couple with. I'm not really well. into the decks I have that have untamed. Okay, so yeah, Aaron Aaron's asking, one of the mats that we just debuted today for the Keyforge pushers, he said, uh, one of the mats going to be for sale. The mats uh, soon. We well as soon as we can. We need to talk to. Uh, we're doing them through Ink Gaming, so they're gonna. We need to talk to them about kind of like partnering with them to get the, the store going. We need to see what they yeah. require from us and if we can get it going. And then we'll let you know. We'll keep you guys yeah, up to date. Dude, as soon as they go up, man, we'll yeah, you guys let you know. guys know. Discord and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to go Brobnar, my man. Okay. So I'm going to clear that. Clear, clear, clear. Beep, 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 beep. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to play out Iron Obelisk, which... Your opponent's keys cost one for each damaged Brobnar creature. I will play okay. play Blood Money. Place two on your dude here. Okay. From uh from that from the common supply. Okay. Um, I will then anger for one, and ready and fight with a friendly creature. I will ready Ganger Chieftain. Okay. No, not Ganger Chieftain, Fire Spitter. Whoops. Already Fire Spitter. And I will put him. Oh, yeah, he does one to everyone. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, oh, not, not the Tunk, though. Yeah, he has armor. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, he would be at three, though. Yep. Um, I will put him. Uh, what do I want to do this? I guess I'll put him just into your Vesma Think Drone. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. I'm just going to trade into your Earthshaker. Okay. So I get two amber there? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. And my keys now cost six. Your keys cost six. Mine cost six. costs six still, right? Yep. And then so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Check to you for the millionth time. Okay. I'm amazed I can stall you so much not having shadows. I'm going to go three. Honest. Fire spitter, you fool. Yeah. All right, so here we but go. I, I still... forge. You forge? Yep. Lyle forges. I accidentally delete a key, so... Where you go, dude? Where you go? I accidentally deleted a key. Here we go. Love this game. Me too, Haggis McButton. We've been digging it, too. We've been digging it, too, for a while here. It's a lot of fun, for sure. I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right. Tabletop soon. Um... You can get the mod right there, Haggis, here. if you have Tabletop Sim. All right, I'm going to pull my archive, uh, which didn't actually go into my hand here. Fell on the table, probably. Yeah, of course. Go check it I out. I can't. I get this in my hand here. There you go. I have to do it individually? That's stupid. You can draw them if you have, if you know how many are there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, and then I'm going to say house. 
get housed. Um, Do you guys ever stream playing with the physical cards, or is it too messy? We have. We did during our Christmas yeah. special. Uh, I think we've done it once or twice. We've done it twice, twice. Um, but uh, Vorpal, we live in different uh, different states. Yeah, we do everything so. remotely, so we can bring people in to play with and do all that good stuff. You can see them on our YouTube or if you're here in the VODs. If you go up there into our Keyforge stuff, you can you can see some of our play. We did our best to try to show them physically. Um, I think we did an okay job. People dug it. You know, yeah. we don't do stuff ever really physically in person that much. I mean, I do stuff physically in person with various other board games. We don't really do card games. So, yeah. It is a loaded question as we are producing a f system for remote physical play. Yeah, I mean, we could we could figure out a way to do it if we wanted to do the remote physical play thing. Uh, this is just way easier. We just want to make sure we can always show things well without it slowing down the game. And this has just been such a great way to say, like, hey, let's discuss Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Um... This game physically is great, I think, for tournament stuff. Uh, it, the thing with the tournament and OP play and streaming OP play, we, if we do that, we've done it sort of at, at a cons, but I want to be sure you guys can see what it is. It's just that it goes fast, so it's more for like the hardcore players to see what's up. All right. I think I'm going to... We're more about like audience focus, so this, this mod helps a lot with this game. So if I get that... So then... Okay, I'm going to play Brobnar. Sorry, I just had to think about that for a second. I'm going to play Brobnar. Um, I'm going to play Blood Money. Oh, you have so Blood Money, too. two from the common supply. I'm going to put it on Ganger Chieftain. Sure. Uh, I'm going to play Blood Money. I'm going to put two from the common supply on Ganger Chieftain. <laughs> I'm going to put out a banner of battle. I'm going to put out... A Ganger this Chieftain. so annoying to deal with. Um, I'm going to fight with Tonk into your Ganger Chieftain. Okay. So I will take four. Four. And you get four Amber. Yeah, and I get four Ambler for that, so I'll say check. Whoop. Okay, dude. Wow. Um, yeah, dude. Are you done being stupid now? Uh, are you stupid right now? Are you are you stupid? <laughs> Actually, he gets he has plus one yeah, power, so you'd have one less. Well, no, you still take four. No, damage. no, no. I still have the damage, but I'm just saying he has plus one power. Everyone does. Um, yep. Cool. Everyone does because this because this card is nuts. This card's so good. Yeah. Love this card. Cool. The banner, banner. That's it, dude. You played the banner. You're the banner man. All right, so All right, I forged no, it. I'm six. gonna lose this chain, and I dropped five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Forge my yeah. first key. Crits for the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Use those crits for the giveaway. The ki the crit camp one player map for your key forge OP events. We'll be using for the first. Well, I will be using it Friday for my event. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. Ah, hoo, ha, hoo. Ooh, ha, hoo. Um, so I forged. I will then play. Oh, I gotta give crits to the people because you forged, dude. I did forge. Um, you're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dude. Seven. Yep. I know, dude. And your dudes are huge now because of your banner. Yeah. Because of your banner. I oh, know, dude. Man. They're angry now, dude. So annoying, man. So annoying, man. Um, so I'm going to play. Man. I'm going to play. Um, shadows. Uh, I will clear this stun. I will play oh, yeah, bait that's and right. switch. You have, you have shadows. I'll bait and switch you. I'll BS you right now. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and uh, that's it for me this turn. Oh. Your turn, dude. Your turn, dude. You know, had to. we had to even it out. We had to have tie game, dude. We got to even the... No, I hear that, dude. I, I hear what you're saying, man. We got to even the playing table. That's what BNS I, does, I, man. I hear you, dude. Little BNS. Little BNS for the kids. I hear you. We should make um, a crit camp bait and switch shirt. I hear you. Um, I'm going to play, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> I think I'm going to play Sanctum, actually. Sanctum, it's coming out hot. Yeah, I'm going to play uh, Sanctim. Um, bad Penne. Yeah, we need the Bad Penne shirt. Bad Penne. But I'll put it in chat. we got to spell it like Bad Penne. Yeah, Bad Penne. That way we don't get sued. <laughs> Gross, says Matt. <laughs> yeah. All right, here what we go. Matty I'm going to play. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He can't look at me meanly, though, when I said that. <laughs> what up, my dude? What up, man? All right, Bulwark is coming out. 
Lady Maxine is coming out. I'm sure you don't want to like, oh, you don't have it. Yeah. Okay. Who are you going to stun? Um, who am I going to stun, dude? Who are you stunning um, with that Maxina? You smash him with the hammer. The no, Panama. I'm going to, I'm going to stun Nexus, dude. I don't like that, dude. Nexus stunned again, man. I just cleared that stun. Yeah. Nexus stunned, dude. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to play a little card called Cleansing Wave. Heals this. Oh, you have cleansing this. wave in here. I didn't see that when we did the quick Heals look. One of these. I get three ambler. Three ambler. One, two, three. So check. Um, and then I'm gonna use Hallowed Blaster and uh -huh. remove this from Tonk. Ah, uh, he's uh invincible. Yeah, he's invincible, dude. Uh yeah, let's uh Let's do that. Dude, let's man, do bro. let's do exactly one, two, three, this. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight amber he has. Yeah, check. Okay. No more chains. I can actually draw up my own hand. Okay. And you got your banner of battle, which makes things really stupid and annoying to deal with. Um I will play. The banner. Uh Haggis McMutton, which I love the name. Uh, says, anybody know when the keyboard starter set is going to be reprinted? It seems like the pl every place is sold out. I want to tell you, Haggis, that the starter set is probably not worth it. Um, we don't think it's worth it. Uh, the basic decks you'll never really play. You might as well just buy two unique decks, if you can, um, and then get a separate token set. Because the cardboard tokens you get in the starter set, not so. they're yeah. not the best. Is this Crucible? No. Everyone thinks this is crew. No, it's a Keyforge mod. It's a Keyforge. It's Ultimate Keyforge mod veil on tabletop Simuri. Uh, Crucible is more like very blocky. It still looks the same. I mean, do that kind of thing. We prefer this way over Crucible just for what we do. Crucible yeah. is still a great tool. Uh, it's great for finding random games. Um, but I've had many games go awry, bug out on me, stuff like that. So we just don't prefer it yeah. for this or shoring uh, different things. Yeah. But no hate towards the Crucible. It's a great way to find uh, yeah. fun random matchups. Tabletop Sim makes that a little bit more difficult. Yeah. And uh, I okay. guess I will say, if you are willing to spend the cash like I was and OC Brad was, Team Covenant tokens are really great. But um, you can wait, find wait, a whole wait, slew wait, wait. of third-party tokens. A lot of people are producing and 3D printing them, um, and you'll find them on Etsy. Burger tokens um, does another set. Um, so there's there's a bunch, bunch of different stuff. And then obviously you can like build your own token set by getting like sort of like you know, Amber Rocks on Amazon for real cheap. Play War Song. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we'll play Headhunter. So what I did do... These starter decks are good, Jonesy, if you're teaching and they're um, and you're getting people into it because what happens with the starter decks is they're balanced with each other and there are no rare cards in them. So there's no, like, really tricky mechanics to go through. But I figure if you're, you're going to play, you're going to play that maybe, like, once or twice and you might as well just get spend the money and get unique decks so what i'm gonna do is uh so i did most of my turn uh the one oh, thing i have i have What'd war song yeah. out uh i'm gonna play smash into vesma think drone you die i gain one from the fight i get three damage right, right. or four damage because of the power so what i did is i played punch i punched myself i reaped yep. i punched myself for three i gain one for punch i yep. then uh fought smash into your dude i get four damage because he's because of banner yep. battle makes him a four and then i played out a headhunter your keys now cost eight because of my obelisk. Yeah. Your opponent's keys cost one for each damage Brobnar creature. You have eight. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. No, but yeah, that was good. Over to you, Lyle. Forges for all the money in the world. And I'm checked right. to you at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I checked to you at eight. Next level plays. Next level plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight you have. We use pennies for damage. That's good. I actually got some of the new damage, uh -huh. the new metal damage coins at the last OP events. They're okay. They're cool. They're neat. People still are like coming with uh, these. This is what I'm not liking about OP events and everyone using their own things is that everyone wants to use their own stuff. I'm always like, hey, do you want to use your own stuff for everything? And they're usually like, I'll use it for mine. You use yours for yours. My amber is different than his amber. So it's like, okay, I steal one. He's like, okay, I'm going to throw one away. You put one of yours out. I'm like, that's so hard to keep track of. Have you have you run into this, Lyle? What? Like at events when you're playing into people with their they want to use their pieces, they want to use their set of like yeah. amber, their stuff. Yep. I think everyone should s agree when you sit down at the table. Like I want to use my amber. Okay, 
everybody uses the same amber just to keep track unless you have the exact same looking amber it just it, it gets it, it, I'm, I'm noticing it's it only gets messy. annoying when you're, when you're doing the stealing yeah, because stealing. basically you discard yours and then they gain one of theirs. Yeah, and it's but like what I do like uh, about having two different sets of amber is the capturing. Well, the capturing is really fine. Easy. That's easy to keep track of. It's the problem is when I'm like when you're moving that stuff around, I found it gets confused because half the time I'm like, did you remove one? And he's always like, yeah. I'm like, did you? I mean, well, you, you have to just watch. You just I know, but that's just motor. annoying. I think it, everything should be sort of like be agreed upon um like what we're gonna use you know what i mean yeah it just makes things what clearer mean, five six seven eight you say eight you say the starters have two cards printed differently there are some i believe you're right matt there are some that aren't printed the exact same way as uh the actual card is and it's to keep the it's just to keep the learning easier i don't know if it was i have to look at the two decks i haven't looked at them in a while but i think you're right matt i heard that too man yeah and people well, ffg said oh, you're not allowed yeah. to use dice because of the the messiness of the dice, which I agree with Sean, and I've actually run into more issues with that as of late using dice. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna. On here, the dice don't flip around, so <laughs> works pretty well. I'm gonna play Brobnar. Yeah, I'm gonna play Brobnar. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play Brobnar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah Brobnar. I'm gonna Brobnar. tremor. I'm gonna tremor this smash. Man, so dude. stun all stunners. You got a lot more stun in there than I uh, re yeah. realized. Stunna. I'm going to play uh, Crump. It's Crump. I'm gonna play uh, Balder. It's Balder. Yeah, Balder. Um, I'm going to play... Sucks. His banner sucks. Balls. Yeah, I'm going to play... Use Zombicide objectives for the keys. Uh, like the X's? Uh. All right, I'm going to play Pingle Who Annoys. So he's going to do one damage to each enemy creature after it enters enters play. Okay. Uh, he yeah, would he die then. Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. Uh, and then, and then, and then I'm going to... you here man i don't know what you want to do man you tell me man you tell me what you want to do man and then we'll do it all right all right yeah i'm gonna throw ganger chieftain into nexus nothing happens because it's elusive and then i'm gonna anger crump uh and then throw him into nexus uh he dies you lose one because of crump there you go okay I'm at seven. Yeah, so you still forge. I forge at six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, that's a forge. Woo! Okay, dude, tie game. We've got a tie game going on here. Yeah, tie game, man. Tie game. Um, I think uh, I think I'm pretty much uh, know what I have to do here. I think I pretty much know. I'm going to play Logos. Um, I'm going to play uh, Library of Blabble. I'm going to play Library of Blabble out. Um, okay. Hmm. I guess I'll play... Hmm, I'm going to play Wild Wormhole. Okay. Play the top card of my deck. Oh, Evasion Sigil. Oh, jeez, so, oh, dude. Yeah, remember this card? Remember this? Oh, I hate this card, man. Before a creature fights, discard the top card of its controller's deck. If the discarded card is of the active house, exhaust that creature with no effect guys so this card annoying, is fun and annoying so he's out constant i already took the amber for that didn't i yeah because i had one i got one for wormhole one for evasion sigil yep. okay so yeah evasion sigil guys this is good times um i use egyptian god cards as keys whoa like what are those egyptian god cards um okay then i'm gonna play i'm gonna play twin bolt emission Okay. Kill off Pingle, who annoys, okay. and I get to do two to a different creature. That is correct. God, you guys are just all beefy. Oh, no, no, no. Pingle has a... Uh, he's plus one power, dude. Oh, well, two to him. Okay. Um, two to him. I'm already injured. Um, who do I care? Blah, blah, blah. Just do two to Crump. 
Um, actually, I'll take that away. I'll do two to Valder. Sorry. See, this is something that... So we sit here and, like, make choices because we're not OP yeah. event right now. Yeah, we should practice like we are. But, like, people are asking, oh, you know, difference between this and the Crucible. If this was the Crucible yeah. right now, you could go into manual mode and sometimes be able to change this. But I've run into issues where people are like, oh, I'm sorry, I put that on the wrong thing. Like, I accidentally put power on a, the other person's creature with a misclick. And yeah. it was like, oh, man, can can I? why would I put my own power on you? Can I, yeah. can I put that on my guy? Come on, I didn't give you three power. And the guy was like... We can try, and we tried, and it broke the whole game. It messed up the whole thing. And I was like, wow, what a waste of, like, 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, and it was it was something that wouldn't ever happen in real life because it, was, it wasn't even, like, you know, something stupid. You know what I mean? So yeah. I want to be able to, like... That is, that is stupid. It's dude. not a realistic mistake. You know what I mean? I understand some stuff's like, oh, I, I need to go back three turns and do this. It's like, you know, that shouldn't happen in real life either, but... Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm going to play. Oh. oh, I'm actually going to discard effervescent principle. Wow. Okay. You sure you don't want to play that, man? Because yeah, I'm going to discard that, and then I'm yeah. going to actually discard Titan mechanic. Well, are you sure? You, are you sure? <laughs> okay, and I'm good. <coughs> I think so. I think so. All right. Oops, I drew one too many. Hmm. I didn't look what that was. He's going right here. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Your turn. All right. What am I doing here? All right, here? dude. All right. What am I doing here, man? We've got cards out. We've got key forge happening, guys. Um, oh, but I will, I will say if you're opening... I got to look through my Discord here. All right, time out, time out, time out. Um, I will say from the, uh, from, yeah, from the events, I got, I got the metal damage counters recently. I got some more, of course, chain counter cards, the active house cards, the, the little miniature stun stuffs and like the new power and whatever little mini cards. I don't know. They're kind of interesting, but nobody, I, I really like the mini power and stun cards in RL if you can use them, but like most people have like burger tokens or they're using like the covenant tokens and stuff like that. So I'm always like, Hey, let's use it. And they're like, now nah, we'll just use mine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> There's just so many different things, but it's just like, I don't know. It's hard at times to remember what's what. I'm like, is that uh, power? Is that a stun? Is that damage or is that a stun? <laughs> I just want things to be clear when you're playing, especially when it's 35 minutes on an OP event. Yeah. Library of Babel. All right, man. What are you doing, dude? Yeah. Hold on. Just, just give me a second. You got a lot of dudes out, man. You got a lot of dudes. Thinking, dude. I'm, I'm a thinking, dude. I'm a thinking. Sigil. Um, you rotate 180 for stun, like confused in Pokemon, basically. Yeah, I, I I like the clearest token sets, ETG. The clearest clear of clears. Because so clearest. many people are using different symbols for stun, and a lot of them look like damage. And I'm like, is that a stun? Okay. And I got to remember. I'm going to yeah. play Brobnar. I'm going to play Loot the Bodies. Uh, for the main of the turn, gain one for each time an enemy creature is destroyed. Uh -huh. I'm going to... And I know you have Evasion sigil, sigil up. So I'm going to fight um, your Headhunter with Crumb. Okay. YOLO. To flip, so I flip... Uh, you discard it. I discard the top card of my deck if the... So I want to make sure it's not Brobnar, right? If it's Brobnar... If the discarded card is the active house, you would get exhausted. Yeah. So if it's Brobnar, he doesn't do anything. Okay. And it, he's exhausted. Oh, is that, oh, hold on. Do you have like so one card left or something? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you get to Let's crush me. Check the weak. That goes through. And then we both die, right? Uh, you had three damage. You had seven total. So four. Yeah. yeah. We both die. And then I lose one. Yeah. You lose. No, you don't lose one because I died. Oh, because you died. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I, I uh, miscalculated that. But I do get something for loot the bodies, right? You get one because I... It was destroyed. I was destroyed, yeah, so... Yep. Yep. All right, then I'm going to uh, attack your smash with my pingle. I'm okay. going to discard this card. Another protect the weak. Okay, so we both die. Uh, I gain one from loot the bodies. 
The guy's dead. I die too. You die too. Uh, then I'm going to do a little reap reap. Ah, sneaky butt man. Sneaky butt man. Okay, you're up. <laughs> See poop, loot the bodies on the floor. Loot the bodies okay. on the floor. I'm going to go Logos, dude. Yo Logos, my Egos. I'm going to uh, activate Library of Blubble. Uh, yep. I think I only have one card left, so this guy comes to my hand. Um, okay. I'm gonna I really wish Library of Babble was really Library of Bobble. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, I play Skippy Time Hog, who's always fun. Oh, dude. You cannot use cards next turn. You can still play them and discard them, but you cannot use them. You're such a B, dude. B, man. You're such uh -oh. a little butt, dude. So then I'm going to play Wild Wormhole. Get one. I'm going to play the top card of my deck. Now, he does he go? He goes not into this because I have to flip. He would be the first card of my new discard. Yeah. So that he can't become whatever. Top card of the deck one time. Oh. He just enters play ready. Yep. Dang it. That didn't work out as I'd hoped. Butts, dude. That failed, man. That failed. Skippy Time Hog's fun. Definitely. It's a great way. I used... Oh, no. I got this deck at PAX. I think I said that. No, I said I got this from the starter. No, I got this deck at PAX in our sealed tournament, Haggis. And uh, it was a three-deck sealed tournament. And this was the last deck I used. Because every time you won with a deck, you couldn't use it again uh, with the rules. So this was the last deck I had. I went 3-0, and and this was my last win. And I had this in my hand the first at the beginning, the first turn. The guy was like, what? <laughs> and yeah. I was like... Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> but he is only a one and then after that he's just a one power creature sitting on the board so it's it's a double edged sword all right it's a double edged sword all right so it's five it? to five dude five 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 by five all right so i can play and discard cards i just can't use any cards right so you could play it out but its ability won't do anything right wait what no i can still play cards yeah, your opponent. I can't, just can't use cards. Right, so like you can't use. I can use what's on my board, but I can play cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Well, then, in that case. In that case. Case. In that case. I'm gonna play Sanctum. Uh, I'm going to play. I like these kind of cards, though. I'm going to play Blinding Light. I'm going to say Shadows, so stun, stun your Shadows, boy. Um, mean. Then I'm going to... Checked up. Yep. Then I'm going to play Take Hostages for the Amber. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's it, dude. I can't use my, my stuff, man. So check. Checking at 7. So I have to shuffle my deck to... Oh, you're checking at seven, are you? Hmm? Yeah, checking at seven, dude. Okay, man, checking at seven. Um, What you gonna do? Oh, what you want? Oh, what you want? Right. I don't know what I'm gonna do, bro. <clears throat> what you gonna do? Um... I think I'm just gonna do Broheim. I think if I want to win, I have one option. I think if I want to win, I have one option, guys. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that's not really an option. It's one option. It's what you have to do then. I have one option. I mean, I guess it is an option because you could choose not to win. Yeah, I, mean, I could choose that. Two, so that's two options. Yo, give, me, have, give me a win, dude. Give me a casual win. I have. I have a 1 in 24 chance. What are we, sounding the horns? What's happening right now? I have a 1 in 24 chance of winning this game right now. I don't even, I don't even understand. Because I don't even understand six. what you're going to do. What are you going to play? Like, do you have a, like another wild wormhole? Ah. Are you going to try to wild wormhole me I'm like in a bad like, way happening? because that last turn, I could have won, but my... I had bad luck the last turn. So let's hope that last turn is my only bad oh luck. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to play Logos. I'm going to go Logos, dude. Okay. 
Library of Babel. Here we go. Is this it? Oh, Library of Babel. Okay. One time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, that's it. I mean, I would just reap. I mean, I can get up to the thing, and I can play out this, just make you win bigger. And yep. that's all I can do, man. Oh, you forge. Ah, nice. ah Lao wins. No. Oh. Oh. I should have been. Oh. Should I put a, I put a, a note in uh, uh, for this deck in my Keyforge app and says, uh, it beats Chris? <laughs> well, that was, I don't think that's a viable win yet. You know, I think I would wait to write notes, but damn it, man. I was I close. I would write notes. Dude, because what I did I draw? Edit the note later. So I drew out Silvertooth, right? Yeah. On my wormhole turn, and I needed one more Amber to have six, right? The next card was this. If I'd gotten this, it would have gotten the Amber I needed. I just needed uh, the Amber. I don't care about the sacrifice. I just wanted that amber, so it would put me at six because you couldn't use your cards or do anything to stop me, really. I didn't think. So if I'd gotten that, that would have been awesome. But I needed, uh, when I drew, when I did my wild swing here, I needed to get yeah. bait and switch. That yeah. would have been my only hope or something that stole yeah. amber. Yeah, and I grew, and switch, I drew Titan Mechana Butts. Damn it, man. Good win, though, dude. W good win over to Lyle with the new deck. Nice. New deck win gets the first win of the day. Good GG, new deck. Man. GG, man. You did some good plays there for a blind, like, I mean, pretty much a blind playthrough of your new deck. Yeah, what, dude, what, do you, no, what do you think of it, it so there's, far? There's some interesting stuff that's happening in this deck. Yeah, what do you think of it I so far? I don't know how I feel about Custom Virus, dude, uh, yet. It worked in my advantage, uh, but... Yeah. I mean, in I fact, you have scary. two Why of them. Why do I only have 35 cards, dude? Did you throw something away? You purged no. one that was here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna re uh, remake this deck. Here. Remake the deck here. So yeah, that was a good game, dude. Uh, there's Lyle's deck right there that he's playing with. Um, 